get it done. Get it done. We get in that fight next. Venado and Angelo. That's the next one. Let's fight Angelo. He deserves it. Former world champion, amazing record. Look great tonight. He beat a guy from from Mexicali. Venado's from Mexicali, so why not? You know, for three fights in five months, he's earned it. So it only makes sense. It only yeah. makes sense. Great champion, amazing human being. I think he deserves a shot. There you go. All right, there you have it. Be careful what you wish for because because it can become a reality. Yeah. All right, Brandon Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm here with Angelo Leo following a really, really workmanlike professional performance against very tough at Wado Bias. So, Angelo, just talk to me about the fight. Like, how do you feel about how, how everything played out? Yeah, uh, it was a tough fight, um, tougher than I expected. Eduardo Bias, uh, he was pretty strong in the first three rounds, three, four rounds. Um, more than I expected. He, he was, his, his punches were solid. And um, they just had to be real care careful not to get caught with something, something dumb. But um, you know, I know that uh, I know my my skill and my pedigree, and I was able to uh, break them down later in the rounds and uh, gain that momentum and get the victory. Not for sure. It was a uh, you know a lot, a lot of guys have had tough fights, but like like, like Raiz Salim yeah. won a majority decision. Mm -hmm. You you weren't able to get the knockout like Navarrete, but you know you did show that that gap in class between you and a guy like Baez. So as far as you know your performance how do you feel like like do you feel like do you feel like you could have did better i thought i could have done better um honestly uh it was a good performance but like um who doesn't think they could do better yeah that's true every every uh every fighter every elite fighter um always sees room for improvement um but you know on to the next one that's what that's what boxing is about uh you live and you learn um this is a good experience for me um even though as a world champion i was out for uh two years so this is like the real the, the, that real uh, uh, firefight um, Polanco was good um, Polanco was good but uh, I know Baez he's an act, more active fighter uh, been in there with solid competitors such as uh, uh, Navarrete top contenders etc etc so um, it was a good win um, and on to the next one not for sure and the next one it's going to be a big one because I, I got it on camera. Uh, yeah. Furco, the manager of Renato Lopez, was here. And he said that you're getting that world title fight next. You're going to get that shot at the IBF title. So, you, so you'll get your chance to become two-time, two-division champion. Mm -hmm. What are your initial thoughts on a, a Renato Lopez fight You know, right now, now that you know you're going to be getting it? Yeah, I'm excited. You know, I'm excited. This is what, uh, this is what I'm in the game for, you know, to get those world titles um, and showcase my skill and showcase the world what, what I'm about. Um, you know, it's back to training after this uh, three, four days off, and I'm back to training and back, back to to improving on uh, whatever I need to work on. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm very excited for that fight. Yeah, yeah. Um, how do you think Renato Lopez compares? Like, I guess like some of the guys you felt like like you know, Bias walking by right now, but mm -hmm. him, Fulton. He's tough. You know, he's tough. He came he came to bring it. Um, he don't lay down for no one, as you can see. Um, um, but we did what we had to do. You know, I yeah. came in there well prepared. Uh, I did my sparring. I did a, uh, I did my road work. Mm -hmm. So you know, I, I, would, I knew I would get the victory. Yeah, yeah. But now, I think the question was, what, what was about Venado. Venado, though, not bias, but Venado. Like, how do you think Venado compares to the the other guys you fought in your career? Oh, I think uh, he's probably one of the best ones. Yeah. You know, besides Fulton, um, he's he's up there. You know, he's a world champion. You can't take nothing away from him. And uh, I gotta do what I gotta do to. Uh, to get that victory by any means necessary. Yeah, uh, a lot of people, um, I think you might go into that fight as, a, as an underdog. It might, it might be the first time you've gone into a fight as an underdog fight since the Fulton fight. So yeah. um, what do you feel like separates you from a guy like Venado Lopez? I just think that uh, I got a lot of skills, a lot, a lot of tricks up my sleeve that um, people haven't really seen yet. You know, and I continue to show them. I continue to show them um, flashes of them. But uh, that night, everything will come out. Everything will come together. Mm -hmm. So, 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 do, do you feel like because you don't talk a lot, you're not one of these guys in the media. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not an Instagram fighter per se. Yeah. You feel like people think it's sweet, and they think like you know, Angel Leo is is yeah, like 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 yeah. they don't give you your credit. They don't give you your due all the way. Um, do you yeah. feel overlooked? That's what I'm asking. Was that? Do you feel overlooked? Like, um, not really. Cause I don't really pay attention to that. I know a lot of people like uh, they don't like talkers like that. You know. Like they say, the loudest one in the room is the weakest one. Correct. So uh, I, I think a lot of people know that. Um, I'm not very loud. So 
you know, my 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 skills uh, speak for itself. My skills, uh, my record, everything really speaks for itself. So I'm not really too worried about that or um, about being overlooked or underrated or anything like that. I just go in there, do my job, um, and uh, and get that victory. You know, it speaks for itself. You know, Terrence Crawford is not really a big talker either, but uh, you know, he does what he does, and he's pound for pound. And he's going to the Hall of Fame very soon. Yeah, you know, so. And you know you're you're starting to carve a nice little resume for yourself out. You know you you know you won this fight with Venado, um, right? That you're a champion and, and what's a very very hot weight class. Mm -hmm. I know I've asked you about Inoue. I'm not gonna ask you about Inoue to, the, to this interview, but one guy I did talk to and I'm gonna bring it up because I did ask him about it was one of the other champions, Raymond Ford. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that fight if he decides to stay at featherweight if if, if you're victorious against Venado? Yeah, like, I'm all for it. You know, I'm all for that fight. Um, I know I'm ranked in the WBA, but it looks like I'm taking the Vanilla route uh, this time around. I win that, um, that Vanilla fight, then I want Raymond Ford and Unify. Yeah, it'd be a really good fight because, you know, yeah. good clash of styles. Exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Everyone likes that fight. I've, I've heard a few people say that they uh, they like that fight for me, and so, you know, I'm, I'm all for it. Okay, okay, well... Um, I don't want to hold you much longer. Up, I don't want to hold you much longer, Angel, because you had a tough fight. I know you're tired, but yeah. uh, I appreciate the time. Uh, any final message you want to give to the boxing world, not just about your bias fight, but the the Venado fight, the title fight, the yeah. big one, you know? Just I want to tell everyone just to stay tuned. Um, we're we're working on it right now. No details anytime uh, right now, but uh, it's it's coming. It's coming, and it's going to be an exciting one for sure. Yeah, I'm back to camp real soon. Mm -hmm. So you have Angel Leo, one of boxing true warriors. Thank you for talking to True School Sports. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. I'm at the Boxing Hall of Fame out here in Canada, in New York. And for more great boxing content just like this video, make sure you click and subscribe right over here.